Good morning, my lovelies. Take a last look at my Christmas tree because I'm taking it all down. I can't believe how much I've managed to stuff in there. <laughs> but here are all the flowers, well not all of them yet, and all the pigs. So I'm starting in a living room and then I will do my dining room. So this is not focusing properly. So I'm going to be really sweating in about half an hour. Good morning my lovelies. So I've just arrived to have my um, treatment for my IT bands. I think this is going to be my last one for now and then I will just see maybe now and again for maintenance. So I am definitely better. My IT band doesn't hurt. My knee still hurts a bit but I think the rest is now up to me to do those stretches and I've actually bought myself stretch strap you know it's one of those they are not stretchy those straps but they have loops so you know you hook your foot in one of the loops you put your hands in the others and you it helps you with the stretches I think yoga people use it so I got myself um, that it's, it's um, a bit easier to do the stretches because I am not very supple and and I think I have to really work on that when I was talking to my therapist he said you know it's all good obviously I'm not a spring chicken anymore he said it's all good that you're working out and uh, doing strength training but he said the older you get the um, how supple you are really matters so stretches are very important I would start doing yoga but I find it so boring it's supposed to be relaxing but I'm not very good at relaxing so to me yoga is really really boring <laughs> I've tried it I've, I've tried it like from videos uh, but I also went to one class and yeah it was okay but I still found it quite boring it's not something that excites me but I definitely need to do stretching every day and I have been doing well there have been days that I haven't so I've taken all my decorations down five hours people five hours it has taken me and um, I've hovered and everything but I still need to do a bit more tidying up so yes I don't know if I'm going to do both trees next year I know I say that every year I probably will and on in a couple of days I am going to get my Botox done and I'm trying a new treatment and it's called I'm, I'm not completely sure because people pronounce it two different way, ways it's profilo or profilo and it's spelled p-r-o-p-h-i-l-o so um what that is these are i think five injections all over your face and they are not fillers it's just a pure hyaluronic acid so you know how you get skincare with hyaluronic acid and I don't feel with skincare you know it never can get really deep into your is epidermis deep into your skin well this is like injecting skincare deeper into uh, your skin layers and that's supposed to really hydrate your skin plump up your skin not like fillers that you will see you know that you've got bigger cheeks or whatever just generally uh, plump up your skin and um, it um, it helps with collagen production and you just sort of look really glowy and fresh and I've heard of of this um, procedure ages ago but I thought well I can't see how it works but someone I know had it done you have to have two sessions so you have one 
um, and then two weeks later you have another one and then it works over time it gets better and better so I saw someone that had it done and honestly it looked really good she looked so fresh and and glowy and just fresh so it's not something that um, it's a huge difference that you would see someone and say oh my god what have you had done um, not like with fillers so like you know my I mean last time I had my fillers done under my eyes when I think I went in 2020 in October and I just had my cheeks topped up with fillers but I didn't have anything under my eyes so I would say I haven't had a filler in, under my eyes for two years and I don't know if I want to do it again although I'm getting I don't know if you can see it in this light depends what light I mean I'm getting the troughs back a bit but I've also noticed I still have filler there obviously because if you've been with me for a long time you know more what my under eyes looked like uh, before I had like really big craters under my eyes but I feel like the filler stays in and sometimes I feel like mine slipped a bit long lower here and when I'm dehydrated I get almost like a little sausages here because remember filler is um, thicker hyaluronic acid like thicker viscosity and hyaluronic acid is humectin so it attracts the moisture so when you are dehydrated your body holds on to moisture so obviously this bit attracts it and I get like honestly like a couple of slugs under my under my eyes so I don't know if I want to have that done again and I was thinking with this profilo if it plumps up and and refreshes the whole face um, that might help my eyes as well because obviously it spreads everywhere in your face and then the collagen production so I thought I will try that uh, so when I go there I will let you know after the um, procedure what it was like actually I see if she will let me film it you know she let me film my Botox once so I will see if she will let me film that I think you get like two injections somewhere around here on both sides of your face and maybe one in a chin I can't remember um, but yeah so we will see right my lovelies i better go for my treatment and i will see you tomorrow good morning my lovelies so gym has been cancelled today so i don't know what to do with myself so i've decided to go and have a coffee with my neighbor and friend uh, and i have a good excuse not to film because i haven't sorted um, out this area because look so I still have this left in here I have all like my you know spare snowy pine branches um, in this huge like a laundry bag you can see by the other side this bag is all ripped so I've ordered new ones and they're coming today so I have to sort that out and then I will have to vacuum again because all the snow will fall off so you know I have to bring my twigs back here that are always in the corner so that's why I can't do any filming I promise I'll do much better from next week I'll have to I think we are all all over the place uh, so it's Paul's first day back at work today and he can't motivate himself I think January is just an awful month and but I have so many birthdays in January it's Max's birthday tomorrow then three of my friends and then Paul's 
so loads of birthdays in January. Miserable, miserable month. You know, after Christmas, horrible weather, and can't get back to normal. Can get back into the swing of things. Right, I'm going for coffee now. Good morning, my lovelies. So, I just arrived for my Botox and Profilo treatment. I will see if I can film it and I will speak to you about it after. Right, I'm going to have the profile first. Oh, I will be able to watch it then myself. I will see it on the screen. <laughs> Always taking my makeup off. I spend an hour putting it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I forget. It's just such a habit to, you know, get up and put makeup on first thing. Does it go in the forehead as well? No. Five points here, oh, basically. Right. Nothing goes up there at all. I suppose there's no really any plumpiness on You have on your the skin laxity, yeah. so the skin laxity is all around yeah. here. So it's five points, but each one spreads. So well, it treats this whole area. I hope my sagging face will stop sagging. It'll give you a bit of a lift because it boosts collagen, sucks in moisture. Just there makes you, you look super hydrated and glowing. I'm going to look like a three-year-old. <laughs> Maybe a 30-year-old. <laughs> a little bit pinchy as it goes in. Is it as superficial as Botox or does it go deeper? Uh, yes and no. So some Botox around the eyes is very superficial. Mm -hmm. This is literally sort of two, three millimetres below the surface. So right. pretty superficial. So it feels a bit stingy and then it kind of spreads out straight away. Oh, you stingy. It feels a bit tight because it's spreading out straight away underneath the skin. Oh. The second one tends to come up quite big because of the laxity there. All oh, right. Strange. I will have a lump. You will have a lump. It will go down over the next few hours. Mm -hmm. You don't need to massage, do anything afterwards at all. It will spread out on its own. This must be like very low viscosity, like really watery, isn't it? It's basically the consistency of runny honey. Mm. So it's not a liquid, but it's not a solid either. putting these five specific points just to stay out of any danger zone so mm -hmm. it's not near any sort of major blood vessels or major nerves and it's all very superficial so it's super safe. So it's five on each side? Yep, yeah, five oh, on each right. side. I thought for some reason I thought it was five in total. No. So I thought it was like two on each cheek and one in a chin. No. First side done. Well, it is quite stingy. It's a bit stingy mm -hmm. as it goes in and as it spreads out. But it's such a quick and easy treatment. Yeah. About five ten minutes. Definitely better than fillers because, yes. especially if you do it with cannula, you can like feel it going yeah, in. Yeah. Right. Am I looking young yet? Oh, immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> so that'd be the same on this side. A 
and then I will need another treatment of that in about four weeks four time. Weeks. And how often do you maintain it then? So you'll need a booster, just the one off, around every four to six months. Oh, okay. If you left it longer, you probably need the course of two again. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where I need it. My jowls. It can lift because it boosts your mm. collagen. It doesn't lift the same as fillers. No. But it, say, it, li it hydrates, it plumps, mm. and you'll get a subtle lift with it as well because it's boosting your natural collagen production. But it doesn't happen straight away. It takes a few weeks for that to start to kick in. Okay, the last one. All oh, done. That's done. Oh. Yeah, I can see the little lumps on the, the sides. Yeah. Yeah, you just need to leave those alone. Don't yes. Rub them at all. Now they will gradually go down on their own. And now Botox. Shall we? My film you the Botox again because you always ask where I have it done. I only have two areas. I don't have it in my forehead because of the droopy eyebrows effect that's because of the shape of my eyes right Botox right so we're going to do the frown in the middle first so if you do a big frown and relax same thing again do a frown and relax Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right, if you turn slightly away from me, do a big smile, squint, and relax. So you can see where I put the profilo in, so we're just going to work around that. Mm -hmm. And same thing, do a smile, squint again, and relax. Same thing, if you do your smile, squint again, hard as you can, and relax. Yeah, they provide all things more than the It's bulk quite bulk. different. Yeah. yeah. Do you smile once more and relax again? Yeah, because Botox is just a liquid, the needles mm. are smaller, there's less pressure. Done! Thank you! There you go! There you go! So I hope you, you enjoyed that. Um, yes, the profiler was a bit more stingy than um, um, than Botox, but nothing like the filler. I don't know if you can see the sun is really shining my face. I just have two lamps um, on each side of my eyes, but like you said, that will go in a few hours. So basically, it's like a deep hyaluronic treatment, hyaluronic acid tr treatment. It doesn't change the shape of your face, you know, like with fillers, you do it to fill some bits or to make some bits bigger but it should overall improve the quality of the skin and kick in the, the collagen production. So I will update you as the weeks go on. I obviously have to go for the next treatment. It's like a top up in four weeks and then you do it every six months. So um, it will be probably difficult to see the difference maybe on a camera when it comes to quality of the skin. Uh, but yes, you know, I will I will tell you um, Exactly how I feel about it because if I don't feel that it made any difference then I wouldn't be I wouldn't carry on spending money on it. So we will see Right my lovelies, I'm going home and my boy is probably still in bed, but this is birthday today So I'm gonna go home give him his presents and 
and and then I have to pack away those Christmas twigs my big laundry bags came so I will do that so I will speak to you later I don't know if you can even see me <laughs> the sun is really shining from here good morning my lovelies as you can see everything is back to normal well I actually that took me probably an hour I had um, another vase with less twigs maybe two of those big ones um, in a corner there and I didn't want that vase anymore so so what I did was take those twigs out I took all the lights off of that one took everything out and rearranged the twigs so I really like it now and then I spent ages unraveling these lights and putting them, putting them back on. I know a lot of you who haven't been with me maybe for as long always ask me about these twigs. Uh, most of them are part of these brown ones. So these silver twigs um, I bought in a garden centre that's Curly Willow and they were cut by life, real. They are not artificial and I sprayed them with silver paint, arranged them in this vase and then bought those um, micro fairy lights and just arranged those on it. So that's how I did it. I have a video actually which is called Alternative Christmas Tree. I will link it here as well so you can see how I did the whole project. I had less twigs in there like I said because I've just redone it but that's how I did it. And you could go and find any irregular twigs outside and spray them and do the same. So yes, this is all done. Everything is back to normal. I'm trying to get back into routine and I actually have filmed a video. I filmed this makeup, but you need to see it. I will post it on Wednesday. This will change your life if you have hooded eyes. So this is another hack, but so crazy and unusual. <laughs> Uh, you need to see that on Wednesday. Oh, I'm wearing today um, Raquel Welch Simmer, but I've put it in a low ponytail. I couldn't be bothered to wash my hair, <laughs> so that's what it is. All right, my lovelies, I think I will leave this vlog uh, for this week. I'm not doing, I think, any nice walks with Louis because it's supposed to be just raining. So I will finish it here. I hope you have a wonderful week. Check out this video on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.